In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add a responsive logo to your full width menu module using Divi's built-in responsive options. This will allow you to add a larger or more complex logo that will appear on bigger screens and a smaller or simpler logo that will appear on smaller screens. I'm going to be using Divi's high school layout pack as well as the header and footer template for the high school layout pack. You can find links to download both of these for free in the description below. Also, if you need any additional help installing these or for detailed instructions on everything we have covered today, you can check the blog post in the description below as well. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first we want to import the header and footer layout that we downloaded. So once you're in WordPress, just navigate to the theme builder from the Divi menu on the sidebar. Now just import the high school header and footer layout by selecting the portability icon. Select the import tab and choose the layout file. Then select import Divi theme builder templates. So now we will edit the header and add our responsive logo in the theme builder. Just click on the pencil icon to edit the header. So we're gonna recreate the look and feel of the first menu, but we're gonna make it on a second menu and then just remove the original one so that we have the full width menu that we want. Since the original menu is built with a standard menu module, we will need to modify the layout to add a full width menu module. So first what we'll do is we'll click this little plus icon to add a full width section to the global header below the existing menu. And then we'll go ahead and click full width. From here, just search for full width menu module, select it, and then confirm. In the full width section settings, navigate to advanced and then scroll to effects. Here we're gonna change sticky position to stick to top. Next, we're gonna add the background color. So go to content, go down to background. We're gonna make sure we click this little pin icon so that we have a sticky background. So on the desktop background side, we're gonna change the color to F5F0EB and go ahead and go to the sticky background section and change the color. We're gonna just use white, which is FFF, FFF, and go ahead and confirm this. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're gonna configure the full width menu module that we created. So navigate to the module settings themselves and make sure that you're on the full width menu settings. What we wanna do here is delete the default background that it was given. So navigate to content, go down to background, and then just delete the background that's already there. So now to easily replicate the look of the original menu, what we're gonna do is just copy the styles over from the first menu that we have to our new menu. So open the settings for the original menu, then right click on the menu text styles and select copy menu text styles. Once copied, you can click the three dots for the full width menu module and then select paste menu text styles. Now you can see this easily copied the text styles from the first menu down to the second, and then we're going to duplicate this for the rest of our styles. So now we'll just repeat these same steps moving forward. So we're gonna go back to our first menu, go to the settings, and we're gonna go down to the drop down menu settings. Once you're there, just go ahead and right click on drop down menu setting styles and select copy drop down menu styles. And then once again, click the three dots for the full width menu module, and then select paste drop down menu styles. And then once more, we're gonna do this for the icon styles. So open the settings for the original menu, navigate over to design, then go down to icon styles, right click, and then select copy icon styles. And once again, click the three dots for the full width menu module and select paste icon styles. So now you can see that our menu started to look a lot like the original menu, just now it's full width. So now there's just a couple more settings that we have to change to make this look the way we want. And first we're going to realign the text. So go to your full width menu settings, go to design, and we'll navigate to menu text, scroll down, and make sure that we're gonna click the right align icon. So this way we can set our text alignment to the right. So now we're gonna set the logo max height. So navigate to design, then we're gonna go to sizing. We're gonna go to where it says logo max height, and I'm gonna set this to 50 pixels. So I'm gonna add a little bit of custom CSS and this is pretty easy to do. So go ahead and click advanced right next to design. We're gonna to go to where it says custom CSS and scroll down to where it says menu link. So here I'm gonna add a few lines of text. First, we're gonna do padding hyphen top colon zero pixels semicolon. Then I'm gonna add another line. It is gonna be padding hyphen bottom colon five pixels semicolon. We're gonna add another line padding hyphen left colon 0.3 em semicolon and then i'm going to add a fourth line of padding hyphen right colon 1.3 em semicolon and it should look like this 
Then finally, we're just gonna set the top and bottom padding. So navigate over to design, go to where it says spacing, and then where it says padding top, I'm gonna make this 10 pixels. And for padding bottom, I'm gonna make this 10 pixels as well. So now you can see the menus look pretty similar and we don't need the first one anymore. So go ahead and delete the original menu section. Just go ahead and click the little trash can here and that will delete the first menu. And now you're left with just the menu we've created. So now all that's left to do is add our responsive logo. So thankfully Divi makes this easy with built-in responsive options. So go back to our full width menu, go to the settings here. Now to where it says content, go to logo and open up the settings. And first we're gonna upload the desktop version of your logo. So go ahead and upload whatever logo you wanna use. I'm gonna use our Divi High School logo. And then after that, we just need to upload our logo that we wanna use for our mobile browser options. So select the phone icon to use the responsive options. Then we'll replace the logo with the responsive logo we wanna use. So just go ahead and click the logo settings, upload whatever logo you wanna use. I'll just use the simple Divi logo here instead of it saying Divi High School. And then we'll just go ahead and confirm this. Now you can see once this is done, we'll have a simple logo and simplified menu on our mobile browser, but when we're on a desktop browser, it'll show the full logo with the full menu. So let's go ahead and test this and see it in action. What we're gonna do is just create a new page using a pre-made layout. So I'm gonna add a new page here. We're gonna edit with the Divi Builder, and then in our options, we're gonna use Browse Layouts. And again, I'm using the high school layout pack. So what we're gonna do is we'll just search for high school home here and we'll use the high school home page. Go ahead and select this and then use this layout. Click there. And now you can see our final result. So now by default, we can see what it looks like on a desktop browser. But what we can do is if you wanna see what it looks like on a mobile browser, on the bottom left of your screen, click the little phone icon and now it'll switch to a mobile view where you can see our responsive logo menu that we've created. With more and more people browsing web pages on their mobile devices, having a mobile friendly and responsive website layout is more important than ever. And thanks to Divi's built-in responsive options, building one is easier than it's ever been. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Be sure to check out our other video tutorials that we have available, and you can check out more free resources in the description that you can use today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to give us a like and hit that subscribe button for even more content, and we'll see you in the next video.